I am Sammy Jo, and today I'm making a video about my experiences and talk about uh, my snake eyes piercing. So, first of all, I have had this piercing for about seven months, seven to eight months, and I have actually had a lot of issues with this piercing. Um, it has not really been the best piercing for me, uh, mainly because it does not actually fit in my mouth. Uh, I don't know if the piercing was done incorrectly or if my jaw is too small or if my tongue is too fat. I feel like all of these could be um, answers to my situation. Um, so here it is. I do not close my jaw all the way because it is basically impossible. The beads set in between my teeth um, and so therefore I can't close my mouth all the way. It's just impossible unless I pull my tongue back. I can make it go like lopsided. And I can close my teeth when I do that. But that is about it. And if I pull it back. That's pretty much how I eat my food. Um, I just have to pull my tongue back. And I have gotten used to doing that. So it hasn't been a problem for me when I eat. Um, it's just become like second nature now. And I just know that when I'm eating to pull my tongue back. Um, Two weeks into having the piercing, I did break a tooth. At that time, I did have metal beads, and they are right here. Those two right in the center. Yeah, well, yeah. But they were metal. And they are pretty large beads. And I was eating a granola bar. And I broke my tooth. And that is... that tooth right there. It's not really that bad. It, I mean, it doesn't bother me. When it first happened, it did bother me. That tooth was really sharp and it blistered my tongue up. Um, but after that, it's fine. And I haven't gotten any cavities in it or anything. So I've been doing pretty good there. But it is unfortunate to break a tooth. And I did not, for whatever reason, I was just like, I've gone through too much to get this piercing. I want to keep it. So I left it in. Luckily, I have not broken any more teeth since then. It did also help that I got these plastic beads. They are much friendlier on your teeth. Uh, they still are not the best thing to have in your mouth, though. Do make sure if you do get this piercing and you do want to use the plastic beads, make sure that you change them out every now and then. You know, I actually wait until last, until I have to. Um, the beads do deteriorate and they will break in your mouth. Um, it's just over time with all the foods and all that junk that goes in your mouth, uh, they will start to fall apart. Um, for me, I actually wait until they fall apart to replace them, and I do not recommend that. That is not the best thing to do. I recently got sick, um, and that was because the beads were actually deteriorating in my mouth. And I did not notice until I started tasting and smelling a really foul smell. It just was not wasn't great um, and eventually I was like okay well what is this it doesn't make sense I thought it was my tongue I thought like I had an infection or something but it wasn't the beads were deteriorating in my mouth and you do not want to get to that point I did get sick from it and luckily I did figure out what the problem was and I was able to change them and 
soon after I felt much better. Um, so if you do get the plastic beads, make sure you change them out every now and then. And I'm not saying wait a month until they break on their own. Maybe every week, once a week, you should probably be changing the beads. Um, let's see, what else? So I'm gonna go ahead. So pros for this piercing for me. I didn't really have any pros, except for the fact that it's a badass piercing, and it's unique, it's different, and I like having unique stuff like that, and so that's mainly, you know, the reason I kept it for so long is because of how cool the piercing looked, and I really enjoyed the look of this piercing, and that's pretty much why I still have it. I. I am getting rid of it today. I am taking it out. I really don't want to, um, but I need to. I have began to develop these white spots on both sides of my tongue because the jewelry is too tight for my tongue. I don't know if you can see them, but I also have these indentions on the side of my tongue because the jewelry is so tight and the beads sit so closely. Um, like even doing that, it's uncomfortable, it's painful. And by this time I should not be having any pain whatsoever. I do take care of my piercing. Um, when I first got it done, I followed all the rules. I didn't eat dairy, uh, no alcohol. You know, I stuck to soft and cold foods for the first week. The second week, all the swelling was gone. Um, I still did, I, you're supposed to use mouthwash after every meal. I was still doing that. And I actually used, so, I had um, Crest Pro Health, it is alcohol free, and then I also used Listerine Total Care Zero. And these are lifesavers. Whenever I have like any kind of issue, like if it's for whatever reason uncomfortable, just take some mouthwash and it instantly feels better. Like you just, sometimes you just need a cleaning and that'll solve it. Um, but for my situation, that's not the case. Um, it, the jewelry is too tight, too small, and it is causing more and more issues the longer I have this thing. Um, so I am heartbroken to have to take this piercing out. It is my favorite piercing. And I just know though that it is probably better for my health to remove the jewelry and just let it heal up. and. Who knows, maybe later I'll get it done where it's closer to the tip of my tongue and I won't have these issues. I don't know. Time will tell. <laughs> um, so I have actually had like a lot of cons with this piercing. You know, busted tooth, the bar is too small. Um, the beads are huge. Like these things, let me show you. So the very first piercing, the very first time I got this piercing, it was done with this bar. And these beads are so much tinier than what's in my mouth now. The bar is also tinier. So you're about to see how tight this was the first time I got it pierced because it was done in the exact same spot. Um, so this, compared to that, and the bead sizes, there is quite a difference there and I'll even show you the metal ones are just as big as the plastic ones here's the metal bead and see they were this would have been so much better for me if I was able to keep this but the piercing should have been done right about down there so that's quite a big difference there um, and unfortunately, it did not work out very well. 
that piercing was done lopsided and I had to get it removed and redone. I think I waited three weeks before getting it redone and I do have scarred tissue in my tongue. And you can actually see that. And that lump will be there even when I take the jewelry out. It's just thick scarred tissue all the way across my tongue. Um, so that kind of sucks, but I'm hoping that once the jewelry is gone and it starts to heal itself, that lump will shrink. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. Um, let's see, what else? The placement. Yeah, the placement, I wish that it would have been further down. I feel like it would have been so much easier for me. Um, just in all aspects. I think it would have been way easier. I would have been able to keep the piercing longer. I wouldn't have all these struggles that I've been having. Um, and then I also have a permanent retainer and I feel like it would be easier because those beads do sit on top of my retainer and that also helps the ball, I guess, stay where it is. I don't know. It's just not the best piercing for me. I can't tell anybody else whether I would suggest this for them or not. Everybody else is different. For me, I love this piercing. It just isn't the best piercing for me. And that might be how it is for you. You might have the same issues I do. I don't know. Everybody's different. Um, if you want it, I say go for it. Just make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into and make sure you go in with the exact placement of where you want this piercing. I think if I would have done that, I would have been fine. I wouldn't be having all these issues and I wouldn't have to remove it and go through all these struggles. So, um, for you... If you're planning on getting this piercing, I wish you better luck, and I hope it works out for you. It's not going to work out for me, and I'm about to take this out on camera for you. Um, and this is the last of it for me, so here we go. And it's out. And it feels super weird. And see that lump is still there. But hopefully with time it'll go away. And here is that Another, here, let's do another size real quick. Here's a size comparison. And that's it. Gone forever. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed my video. I hope it helped you out. If you had any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I will try to get to you.